Coach Roberts, a big game Friday against a top-ranked UConn. Uh, thoughts on the contest? Well, we've been going down to UConn for at the stores for a long time. Uh, they've been a quality, quality team forever. So it's, uh, I'm sure our guys are looking forward to it. Uh, we know the way they play. They, they, they got real talented players, real athletic players, and uh, you know they're always a you know a top five team. And, and so I think our guys will be looking forward to it. Looking back, can you give your thoughts on the BC game? Yeah, BC game was you know for the first time out was was in some good good spots and bad spots. We were a little bit disappointed. Uh, you know, giving up two restart goals was uh, not something that we we would hope to have done. Uh, but we, you know, for the amount of guys we have coming back off of injuries and the new guys playing, we felt that it was a very good first game. And we know that from that group, we can be a very, very good team within a short period of time. And it was the uh, first ever start for Matt Gilbert. Can you talk about his performance? Yeah, Matt, Matt's come a long, long way. You know, he uh, broke his hand last year, so he was out pretty much the whole year, couldn't train. Um, you know, so we're, we're very happy with his progress, you know, and, and uh, it's only the start for him. So with, with Nick getting back and with Matt in goal I, and Alex as well, I, th I think that uh, the future is very bright for that position. There'll be a lot of competition for it. And then what's the team's mindset right now after a disappointing loss? It's been a week since that game. Uh, how's the team feeling going into the UConn game? Yeah, I think it's good. I think that uh, they're very disappointed. You know, they, they kind of felt we let one slip away, even at least one point uh, slip away from us. But um, I, I think that uh, we moved on and we're, we're they're working very hard. It's a very good group. They train very well. Uh, they listen. They want to get better. And uh, it's just a matter of us finding ourselves uh, in, in, in a short period of time. And, so I think they've moved on, and they're looking forward to going down the stores. Last year, you earned a draw at UConn. Does that result help at all going into tomorrow's game? I don't think so. I mean, it's a new team for us. It's a new team for them. Um, you, you know, it, it's just uh, it, it's a matter of us playing well. I mean, it, it's a matter of us doing simple things well. It's about, it's about defending and not making mistakes. And, uh, you know, we need to be better possessing the ball, and hopefully we'll be better than we were in the BC game. Um, but it's, um, you know, last year, no matter who you're playing, really has nothing to do with what's going to happen tomorrow. What is it about UConn that has them ranked so high? They're good. <laughs> they've, got, they're good they've got a good staff. They've got good players. Uh, the kids work extremely hard. Um, you know, everything about the program is, is done the right way. So it's... Uh, and, and the, the, you know, the athletes that they have and, and the soccer players they have, uh, they're very, very good and they're very good every year. So you put all that together and, uh, you know, I believe, you know, probably since Ray got there, they've been in the top ten sometime throughout the year. So, um, you know, it's just, it's just a very, very good program. It's one of the elite programs in the country. And then at UConn, it's always a hostile environment. They always have a lot of fans. How do you help prepare your younger guys for that atmosphere? We've never had problems with that. It's I don't call it hostile. I think they're vocal. They're very supportive. Uh, they, they get behind their team. Uh, I think any athlete enjoys that, whether they're being yelled at or yelled for. Uh, our guys, since the 80s, have always enjoyed that environment. Uh, and you know, even last year and the last time we played down there, so it's 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 something I think any athlete cherishes, and uh, our guys look forward to it. They won't be intimidated by it; they'll enjoy it, and that's what we've been saying all week. Enjoy the moment, enjoy the opportunity to play, you know, such a good team and such a you know great facility, and uh, we'll be looking forward to it. At the end of the preseason, you were talking about how the offense was just a pass away from really catching on fire. What's the status of your offense right now? Yeah, we, we still got work to do. I think we're a work in progress there. And, uh, you know, I mean, Connecticut will, you know, that will be a challenging offense for anybody. You know what I mean? To, to, to really create chances against Connecticut is very, very difficult. So no, I don't care if you're Indiana, BU, uh, who you are. It's, it's the, they don't give up a lot of chances. They've got the best goalkeeper in the country. Uh, and they're always very organized and very, very good defensively. So you have to be patient. You have to take the chances that you do have. So this won't be a game that, that we'll be able to say that uh, we 
I know our offense is there or not there because it's going to, you know, our patience and our discipline is going to be what uh, we're hoping to improve on uh, tomorrow. All right, thanks, Coach. Thanks.